Oh, she was a nice child and a good girl. Charges against a mother tonight after her little girl died in an apartment fire. Police call suspicious. Tonight, the latest on those charges and a look inside the family's home, which relatives call filthy. Those breaking news developments are first on Fox. I'm Susan Highland. Relatives tell Fox 4 that a three-year-old girl badly burned in the fire is still in the hospital. A breaking update in the case tonight as prosecutors charge the mother. Fox 4's Robert Townsend joins us live from 13th and Vine with those new details tonight. Robert? Susan and John, we are just getting that suspect's mugshot. Take a look. That picture just in the Fox 4 right now. Maria Shesha Hayo remains in the Jackson County Jail. Meantime, her relatives are preparing to bury her two-year-old daughter. Since last night, we didn't get enough time to sleep. It's been a difficult 24 hours for Pastor Danny Stephan and his family. This uh, is hard even to talk about. Uh, and uh, because it was a bad situation, oh, really broken. He's heartbroken because Thursday afternoon, Kansas City police said they went to Stefan's sister-in-law's apartment and discovered her two-year-old daughter, Kalia Elia, was dead. Pastor Stefan says his little niece always had a big smile. She used to sing in a children's choir. She was a nice child, uh, a good girl who you who liked to sing and uh, like to train other kids. Pastor Stefan says Kalia's three-year-old sister Elena is in the hospital with severe burns. She was just crying. She has burns on her chest and back? Oh, on the back and the leg, uh, always to the feet. Uh, it was uh, it was bad even to look. Police say both children were injured in a mysterious fire inside their family's apartment. Investigators say detectives are struggling to answer many questions, including how did the fire start and exactly how long was little Kalia dead? Their 36-year-old mother is Somalian and doesn't speak any English, making it difficult for police to solve the family's painful mystery. I just walk in and when I see her living room in the kitchen, is a mess. So Staney Louie, the children's uncle, says Wednesday morning he went inside the family's apartment and took this cell phone video. He says he was shocked to see a trail of trash, broken dishes across floors, and charred clothes in piles. And I keep asking mommy, what happened? What happened? She cannot say it. She didn't tell you? No, she did not tell us what happened. This is very, very sad. They are a nice family. And right now, the jail mom is being held on a quarter of a million dollars bond. We'll have more at 6. I'm Robert Townsend, Fox 4 News, working for you live in Kansas City.